Welcome to Drawfee, where we take dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Nathan. I'm Julia. I'm Jacob. And I'm Karina. And it's an episode that I chose. <laughs> <laughs> the big intro, baby. <laughs> it was pretty good. Wow. I chose it this time. It's the hearth of the cards because it's a hearthstone. Oh. It's a Hearthstone episode. We've done a lot of card I games. It's gonna be another Yu-Gi-Oh episode. It was it's kind of it's like <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh, but with Warcraft. I thought we were drawing different kinds of bricks you find in fireplaces. Yeah. <laughs> As Yu-Gi-Oh Masters. As Yu-Gi-Oh Masters. Really episode. Um the cool thing about Hearthstone is it's like You're really good at repelling heat. A fully <laughs> digital card game. Oh. So oh. all of the cards, when you play them, they have audio that accompanies them. I, uh, but then I can't smell the cards. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Well, audio is kind of like the smell for the ears. <laughs> yeah. You got me there, Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> this challenge is for you to draw some Hearthstone cards based on their summoning audio that plays that fun. when you summon them. I'm okay. excited. Get excited. I'm excited. We're going to get a crackle. We're going to get a hiss of the air escaping the log. It's not a fireplace, Julia. <laughs> it's a card. So Nathan's going to do the mouth sounds. <laughs> That's like opening a pack of cards yeah. so I can pretend that I'm opening a pack of cards and then I smell it because that's the most fun part. Okay, here, here's the ASMR. <laughs> right? Uh, crin crinkle, 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 rip. Ooh. Ooh these are some... <laughs> This is me smelling the cards. <laughs> Karina, uh -huh. I have a, a cards for you to draw. Ooh. But I have I have a choice for you to make first because I couldn't choose myself. And your choice is between scales, fur, or neither. You know what? Let's do fur. Fur. Okay. Karina, your card is Ringmaster Watley. And he says... <clears throat> Ladies and gentle orcs, prepare to be amazed. <laughs> wow, that's good. <laughs> okay. Nathan, I like you're that. so good at voices. It doesn't give me a lot to work with other than I guess I know he has fur. <laughs> I can sort of give you more information about these characters as Are the drawing gonna goes. Are you going to do more voices? The, the jumping off point, the sort of crux of the challenge is to is to start yeah. drawing based only on the uh, the battle cry. I'm going to assume based on the option of fur eh, and uh, the theming of a ringmaster, I'm just going to go off on a limb and say lion. I love that direction. Yes. I'm not going to get too high concept about this. In that voice, which is... Was fantastic. I feel like I can hear a mustache. <laughs> <laughs> Please, you gotta be. I, that might just be my mustache. Uh, yeah, maybe, <laughs> maybe. I could hear I mean, a mustache. You know what they say? <laughs> Audio is the visions <laughs> for the ears. Yeah, they said that. I heard yeah. them say that. Yeah. I can read you the flavor text for the cards. The cards Ooh. all apparently have flavor text. I don't know where they are located on the cards themselves. <laughs> That's great. Uh, but they do have flavor text according to the Hearthstone Gamepedia. Yeah, hit me. His main qualification is that he'll work with anyone or anything. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> yeah, damn. All right, he's we down. love a man with no standards. <laughs> <laughs> he is a five mana cost, three attack, five health creature, a warrior minion. They're called minions in Hearthstone. Oh, so like-, like Goggles, please. Yeah, gotta nope. get- Nope. One not goggles, like overalls. Minions. Not like those minions. <laughs> overalls. Don't do it. Everyone's so drawing minions on this episode. Whoa. Bananas. They're all minions. <laughs> if I see a single minion, I'm deleting the channel. <laughs> well, you're looking at one right now. This is a minion. There's a minion, one of the classic minions from Hearthstone <laughs> named King Mucklot. His ability, his battle cry is to give your opponent two bananas. <laughs> What? <laughs> what do the bananas do? They give a, a minion plus one attack plus one health. 
I can't tell if you're being facetious right now. I'm not. That's his ability. He has he's well, he's overstated. He... He's an overstated minion, but he does give your opponent. Oh, I see. That's the downside. To bananas. Oh. No, I mean about the banana thing. Yeah, that's what the bananas do. Why are there why is there a banana mechanic in Hearthstone? <laughs> I didn't know about this. <laughs> <laughs> See, you're missing out on all <laughs> banana-based gameplay. I don't even like bananas. I'm just confused. <laughs> banana-based gameplay. <laughs> High-octane banana-based gameplay. Hearthstone. Okay, definitely has like big brows. Karina, I think you were born to do this drawing. Is it because so it's good. Skimbleshanks? No, yeah. Skimbleshanks is, is, di- is Skimble he's Shanks again? different. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. He's a railway cat. This is a circus cat. <laughs> he's a lion. <laughs> Lions are cats. He's yeah, so but it's fancy. like a, Well, he sounds fancy. Yeah, I, I love it. I could hear that in, you know, you got you could hear the mustache in his voice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's just your mustache. I think it's that was in a the character voice. mustache, yeah. Yeah. It sounds like something romantic you would say to somebody. <laughs> I can hear the mustache <laughs> in your voice. <laughs> It'd be like in a rom com movie where it's like two people talking but they've never met face to face. I can hear, I the, can mustache. hear the mustache. <laughs> the mustache in his voice. And a song in his heart. Just like Skimble Shanks. <laughs> Just yeah. like Skimble Shanks. Yeah, you can definitely hear the mustache in his voice when he sings. It's yeah. a little mustache. <laughs> I wanted to give you some more lore about this character. Because yeah. again, a lot of the the characters in Hearthstone are pulled directly from Warcraft, which has a lot of lore. The lore section for Ringmaster Watley is, Ringmaster Watley is unique to Hearthstone. Oh. oh, wow. Is that it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it doesn't, there's no, uh, he doesn't exist in Warcraft. He's a He's a new yeah. character they came up with. His life starts and ends in Hearthstone, so he hasn't been up to much, apparently. Yeah. He sounds wealthy. You said he'd work with anyone, so you know he has a lot of money because that means he has no morals. Right. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's called world building, you know? Oh, I didn't I didn't say what his battle cry ability is. Are you gonna do another voice? No, this is just oh. what it just just like his <laughs> card text ability, which is uh-huh. uh draw a mech dragon and pirate. Um oh okay, comma, comma <laughs> mech yeah. comma dragon comma pirate. Yeah. Oh, okay. So he really will work with anybody. Yeah. yeah. He'll work with mechs, <laughs> dragons, dragons, or pirates. Yeah. Uh, does with three things. A ringmaster outfit look like trying so hard to channel. I can only Hugh picture Jackman. The one. Yeah, I was just <laughs> say. Greatest Showman. I feel like this is Zac Greatest Efron. Showman meets cats. Have you seen Greatest Showman? No. <laughs> seen clips from it. I've seen clips. I feel like Greatest Showman has such a divisive. The music's. Fun. The music's I've fun. Seen, I've seen people but be like- But it is about P.T. Barnum. <laughs> who isn't a great person. <laughs> no. They also took this like lady who historically is uh, very powerful and good and uh, did a lot of cool stuff. And basically, they just made her uh, the side girl to- yeah, Hugh Jackman's character. She's a temptress. <laughs> yeah, and that's it. That's that's all she do. She sing. Yeah, she sing. That's all she do. <laughs> but if we take out the historical inaccuracies and making a hero out of a villainous man, is it fun? Can we still have fun? Is it a fun movie? Yes, with, with the villainous man hero. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like if I if I watch it and I don't know anything about anything. Yeah, if we pretend that P.T. Barnum is a fictional man. Yeah. And this is all fiction. Um yeah. yeah That's probably, I like the soundtrack. It's fun. My RP whenever I watch a movie is that I don't know anything about anything. <laughs> and the movie must teach yeah, me. Yeah. I go in so stupid. Yeah. 
and I leave even stupider. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not a situation where I gain anything. I just lose. <laughs> I don't know if this is like a, a showman's outfit or like a little nutcracker <laughs> who came to life <laughs> and will work with anybody. Kind of state alchemist. Yeah, a little bit from ah, mili- shit. Like military <laughs> circus. Is Jonathan love. Van Ness as a uh, alchemist? <laughs> yeah, maybe alchemist or <laughs> circus. He's the works with anything alchemist. Yeah, <laughs> he's also a lion. He's also a lion. <laughs> we don't yeah. talk about that. There's a a lion chimera character in that's true. FMA Brotherhood. Mm. So mm-hmm. there's that. Yeah, there's that. So this is a perfect drawing for Nathan's FMA Brotherhood drawing challenge that we're doing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Aren't you glad? <laughs> Does this guy have a hat? Ah, shh. He's got a showman's hat. <laughs> like in The Greatest Showman. The Greatest Showman's hat. How do you hold a hat? In your hand. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jacob. <laughs> uh, sh- ah, hat. Ah, hand. Do it in post. Do it in post. No, just write hat. No. <laughs> just write hat. Draw a box and write hat. <laughs> <laughs> well, that that makes him a cat in a hat. Well, right now he's a cat with a hat. He's a cat yeah. with a hat. Excuse he's, me. It's not on yeah. on his body. So right. Doesn't count. But it will be. Do not ruin yet another Dr. Seuss property today. <laughs> I get such like real character vibes from this guy. Yeah. yeah. Like it seems like it's fan art of an existing character. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But it's not, which means it's good. Wow, thank you. Yeah, this is AU Cat Watley. <laughs> this is my uh greatest showman AU. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um apparently the only basis I have for circus media at the moment. I mean, what else is there? Is there other circus movies? Dumbo. Dumbo. Dumbo is a circus movie. It's live Dumbo. action Dumbo. With Another live action Danny Dumbo. DeBito. <laughs> Sir Danny DeVito. Sir Danny DeVito. I think Danny DeVito should be knighted. Yeah. Yeah. Knighted. Well, I'm down. Yeah. Let's see why not. If anyone was gonna be the first not British person to be knighted yeah. by the Queen, it should be Danny DeVito, I think. Do you think we can just do it? Oh. Yeah, I mean, it's not like. Can we start our own like knighting think, system? Like, or? what what would happen if we just started knighting people? Yeah, who's gonna say? Yeah, you can't do that. Yeah, it's like, well, I just did. So yeah, you can't tell me what to do. I'm Sir Jacob Andrews. When we see each other again, can we knight each other? Yeah, yeah. we can do anything. Let's all knight each other. Let's all knight each other. That's a fun. <laughs> What are you gonna do after after quarantine? Oh, <laughs> me and my pals are all gonna get together. We're all gonna knight each other. Yeah, aren't you? <laughs> We're gonna knight each other and see if the Brits do anything about it. <laughs> <laughs> they won't. Let's knight each other at the circus. What if we knighted each other at the circus? At the circus, <laughs> and I was the greatest showman. <laughs> <laughs> I was a cat. <laughs> I love his lollipop baton. Oh, shit, I forgot to finish the baton. <laughs> no, I'm not done. <laughs> Fuck. It's taking so long. It's like he's holding the the who's from Horton Hears a Who. <laughs> no. He's working with the who's. He seems like the type of guy whose baton would be shaped like his own face. Cause he'll oh, that's fun. I like that. <laughs> making the same expression. That happens in uh, Full Metal Alchemist again. Where <laughs> what? Edward makes... A little, uh, he like alchemists his metal pole and it's got his angry face on the end of oh, it. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Did I just do a full metal alchemist? You might have. Maybe the greatest showman was the full metal alchemist all along. Wow. <laughs> the greatest showman is the full metal alchemist of the years. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's so many layers. Okay, okay. All right. Oh. Oh. 
He's like a a wolf. Oh, I don't like him. He's a wolf man. Oh. He's, like he's a, a worgen. He's not scary. I like my version better. Yeah, yeah really. Yeah, it's way better. He looks handsome, but he definitely still commits crimes. But he's not like obvious and overt about it. Like, come this on. is what picture he has up on his LinkedIn. And then you get the real <laughs> Watley and he shows up and he's all scraggly. <laughs> and not he looks lion. completely different. Yeah. This reminds me of like a Goosebumps cover. Yeah. Oh, his outfit's garbage. That's how. <laughs> That's how you know he's evil. <laughs> God, star and moon secondary pattern, gold trim, <laughs> green patchwork on purple. Rip him apart. Get Let's out get of here. Get, get him. him out of my sight. Get his <laughs> ass. Disgusting. Get his ass. Mess him up. <laughs> I like my guy much better. He's perfect. Yeah. I'll make him a little extra campy when I render it. Look at it. Look at how campy he is. Yeah, you did it. Wonderful. Wow. I'm wow. seeing the render right now, and it looks amazing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> For you, Jacob, yeah. I have chosen one of my favorite cards. This is a card I actually have in my collection. Ooh. Well, what does it smell like? Smells like dinosaurs. Yeah, because this card is Dino Tamer Bran, and when you when you summon him, he says, "You'll find me wherever the action is." Bran, <laughs> Bran, Bran sounds like a little guy. I think sounds... Bran's a little guy. Yeah, so he's like no mustache. A, a little version of what's his face from Jurassic Park? <laughs> of Bran from Game of Thrones. Bran from Game of Thrones. Oh, that's fun. You'll find me wherever the action is. Did I get the... Uh, Were we supposed to detect mustache? Is that why you did it again? I don't know. How, I mean, did I, I hear I the mustache do, in the I voice? I do think there's a mustache. Okay. Not um, very I, I was, much, if any. A little, a little one. I want him to have like a like a whip. That's, oh. Yeah. For taming. And I can Ooh. give you his uh, his flavor text as well. Oh, yeah. Would you? Would you please? Brand's new dino taming hobby is going well. His pet can already make him sit, stand, and roll over. Oh, oh. it's <laughs> the opposite of what? Uh, it's pretty. It's pretty good. He sucks at what he does. <laughs> yeah, he sucks actually. <laughs> He's a, a legendary minion from the Saviors of Oldham set. Oldham. Oldham. <laughs> He's a, a hunter. Yeah, no end to old. A hunter card, and so he's in my hunter deck. Ew. And his his special ability is uh, if your deck has no duplicates, summon King Crush. And King Crush is a uh, is a big dinosaur. Is he your crush? He's my crush. <laughs> yeah, he, he's my favorite card because he lets me summon a big dinosaur that uh, can smack my opponent in the face. <laughs> And that's all I want to do when I play cards is make yeah. a big dinosaur happen. <laughs> I'm playing yeah, for that dino. That's the whole point. It's the whole point. Why else would you be doing anything? Yeah. Anytime I ever play a card game, you know which one. All I want to do is make something stupid happen. <laughs> I don't really want to win. I just want to make something fun and stupid happen. Usually I want to dress my character. I'm, I'm what you call a casual. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You want to dress your character in a card game? Yeah. I don't think How? that's what card games do. <laughs> How do you intend to I do this? I haven't played a card game. <laughs> Is that what you do? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's how it works. <laughs> Julia, you're thinking of The Sims. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Famously not a card game. <laughs> oh, look oh, at this guy. This looks like the Spirited Away guy. Oh, yeah, it does. Oh, yeah. What spirited away guy? The dude who works on the, on the With furnace. With the suit sprites. He's got no, the extra arms. Spider-Man. He's the Spider-Man. Spider He's Peter this Parker. <laughs> this is Bran. This is Bran. This is Spider-Bran. This is Spider-Bran. <laughs> He's at the spa. He's got the cucumbers on his eyes. God, what I would give to be at a spa. No, those are goggles. I would go literally anywhere right now. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, look at this guy. <laughs> yeah, this is Robotnik's uh, brother who works at the spa. I can uh, I can also give you the, the sound he makes when he attacks. Which yeah, please. Is, uh, please do. I'll show you how it's done. Oh. My voice keeps cracking. 
I wasn't expecting this to happen. I should have. I, I should have maybe think, practiced. I think it's helping. It's more yeah. of a. This is more of a like pubescent brand <laughs> voice that I'm doing. It's adding to the charm. I'll show you how it's done. There. Is he more? Is he more dwarfy than know me? Because now you're sounding dwarfy. I meant to sound dwarfy. But you gave me kind of gnome. I gave vibes. you gnome. I'm sorry. Dwarfy is my favorite channel so. on YouTube. <laughs> uh, that was good, Juliet. Make sure you subscribe to Dwarfy. <laughs> Please subscribe to Dwarf and and support them on Patreon. <laughs> what if he has like a? He- oh, I think I wanted to have a headband. Oh, okay. That, yeah, get this hair out of here for now. Like a spa headband? Oh yeah, no. he's, he's going to the spa. He's going to the dinosaur spa. Yeah, I want to go to the dinosaur spa. spa. I want to go to a spa. No, Drawfy spa I want day. To, though. Too let's, bad. Let's do a Drawfy spa day when we can. Okay. I would do that though. The la- I went to a spa at the start of the year just by sheer luck, and it was so relaxing. And I came home, and I fell asleep at 11 p.m., which I never do, and I slept for 10 hours, which I never wow. do. Wow. I've never been I wanna to be a spa. I want to be like that. It's so nice. I've never spa'd, and I want to spa. Let's spa. Can we spa? Julia, can we spa? Can we spa, can we Julia? Sp- Only if we can ska. Ska spa. Ska spa. <laughs> yeah, we have to start the ska spa. They... They massage you by trumpeting right onto your back. Ooh. <laughs> I can't think of a, a, a less relaxing music genre <laughs> than ska. Really fall asleep to the tones of ska. I'd be down. If I'm like in a nice spa, I can fall asleep to anything. There was one time I was uh, selling at Anime Expo me and my friend stayed at a spa right after the convention ended it was a k spa so you could stay there overnight but you have to you just like sleep anywhere that you can just find a place to sleep uh and i fell asleep on the floor because i was so relaxed wow wow just on a mat (laughs) this looks like he's coming to strangle me (laughs) yeah he's got a length of rope it does. You look open like your that. eyes at the spa. <laughs> yeah, yeah. POV danger spa. <laughs> this is how I tame. You'll find me wherever the action is, and the action is rope. Well, I was thinking like it's he's got reins. Yes. Oh, I thought this was still the whip, and I was like, I don't think that's how you use a whip, buddy. I thought it was a towel. Is he riding the dino? Yeah, he's gonna be like riding like a dino. No, I thought he was gonna do that thing, like you you twirl it and then you you know <laughs> hit it into the air and it makes that whip noise. He's riding the dino. <laughs> He's riding the dino. I like this dino. That's it's a good shape. dino. Yeah, too small to be King Crush, but yeah, this isn't King Crush. It's a dino. Yeah, not it's my crush. A dino. Hashtag not my crush. <laughs> kind of a snaky, <laughs> snaky dino. Oh, he's so sneaky. I love him. Little sneaky, snaky dino. I can give you some more lore about Bran, even though this drawing looks almost done. Just just yeah. to have. Yeah, just give it to me so I can have it for later. The card <laughs> represents Bran Bronzebeard as he appears during the events of the Saviors of Oldham. Distinctly no beard. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Bad news. Well, he, he, he got it shaved. Yeah. It's a family name. I can't help that I can't grow a beard. Well, he, he could. He's just not doing it. Got some little chest, some chest hairs. He's the youngest of the three bronze beard brothers. Uh, and he's one of the greatest explorers to ever wander Azeroth. Wow. Good for him. <laughs> From the frigid mountains of Northrend to the depths of Oldemon, wherever ancient mysteries call, he will follow. Hence, you'll find him wherever the action is. Uh, I think is this dude in WoW? I believe so. Yeah, I think he's in WoW, and you go to like his expedition sites and have to fucking follow him around and make sure he doesn't get murdered by raptors while he's <laughs> looking at dirt or whatever. <laughs> well, this is later after he becomes a master dino tamer. Wow, big big things in store. Yeah, for our boy. Oh, I like this outfit. Yeah, it's kind of. 
That's his armor. chest hair? Yeah, that's his chest hair. Okay. Yeah. And then he's got... He's got armor on, but nothing underneath? No. Is he got a little midriff showing? Yeah, a little midriff He's got. He's, he's doing sort of a Xena. <laughs> I love this. Oh, he's strong. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty I strong. I keep thinking the chest plate looks like ski goggles. It does a little. Yeah. And now I'm thinking about what a fashion statement that would be. One man's ski goggles is another man's breastplate. That's what they tell you in school. Yeah, that's what they say. <laughs> it, it still looks like he's going to strangle this dino. Yeah, but, he's, it looks like he's sneaking up on the dino to strangle <laughs> yeah. it. But the, dino, but the dino has a plan. Yeah. yeah, the dino knows what's going on. <laughs> this is a thing they do. Yeah. They, this a, is like a, a bit that a they game. do together. For sure. It's like, oh, he's coming. He's coming with the rope again. <laughs> All right, this one is done. Wow. All right, let me send you the art. Oh. oh, cute! He's got, he's got, he's got a like pretty him. big beard. Yours yeah. is just—he's yours think, is shaved. That's the difference. Yeah, <laughs> this is after he has a bit of a trim <laughs> at the spa. Yeah, he does have a whip. He does. So at the whip, I was on the right track, even though I abandoned that course. <laughs> it's yeah. a thought that counts. But he is riding a dinosaur. Yeah, he doesn't have abs though. He could. You can't see. I mean, he's got pretty strong arms. He might have They're abs. They're not visible abs. No True. visible abs. Well, you gave him the visible abs, and I think that's yeah. an improvement. <laughs> yeah, I think that's something that we should <laughs> all need to remember. appreciate all the hard work. And they're making almost the exact same facial expression, which is pretty cool. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> they, they do have similar energies. They're psyched about what they're up to. Yeah. Even though mine looks like a little murder wow. pervert. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I like mine. I think he's good. I think, I think he's you great. You did a great job. I think you nailed it. You did Thank justice you. to my favorite card. Thank you, Jacob. Thank you, Nathan. Julia, do you want to come in do one? Yeah. I'll buy. Okay, Julia. Yeah. Your card is Cthune the Shattered. Oh. And Cthune's summoning quote is My awakening brings a new age. Pray to your gods that your pleas may go unanswered. Wow. It sounds like something Julia would say. Yeah, it does. <laughs> she says that every morning. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, first thing to me. <laughs> Wild. Um, the neat thing about Cthun the Shattered is that mm -hmm. uh, it literally shatters at the beginning of the game. It breaks into four cards that get oh. shuffled into your deck. And before you can summon... <laughs> Cthun, you have to summon each of the four pieces of Cthun, and each of those pieces also has a quote. The The pieces are the body of Cthun, the eye of Cthun, the heart of Cthun, and the maw of Cthun. Oh, he's got a maw. He's got a body. maw. Body, <laughs> eye, heart, I, maw. Heart, planet. maw. Hey, uh, just for uh, the audience's sake, what is a maw? A maw is a mouth. It's a big, scary mouth. It's a gaping. Yeah. Glad yeah. you clarified for <laughs> the audience. Well, you okay. think our audience doesn't know what a maw is? Hey, maw. Hey, maw. <laughs> so is this like the Exodia of Hearthstone? It's kind of like an Exodia. It does. So when you when you summon Cthulhu the Shattered, uh, mm -hmm. it deals thirty damage randomly split among all enemies, which. Oftentimes will be enough to win you the game. Not always. Damn. You have 30 life points. So if you don't have any creatures out, uh, that's all going to you. If you have creatures out, but you've taken some damage, it could still be enough to, to kill you. Uh, I've only gotten killed by uh, a fully formed Cthun once, I think, in, in my playing experience. But the pieces are all pretty good. They all do different stuff when you summon them, and they all say different stuff. Oh, that's fun. So I'll say yeah. the stuff. Yeah, say the stuff. When you summon uh, the body of Cthune, which summons a 6-6 six, six with taunt, uh, it says, I will break your body. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. That's cute. Yeah. When you play the Eye of Cthune, uh, what does the Eye of Cthune do? I That's... will see your eye. <laughs> it's, uh, I, I see 
your weakness. Ew. That's good. That's good. This one, the Heart of Cthune is the one that always gets me. Heart of Cthune does three damage to every uh, minion, and I play a lot of three health and less minions in my deck, <laughs> and uh, it says, your heart sinks, and it does. It's very <laughs> on the, it's the most on the nose, like, because it's just like, yep, that was my whole board. And then finally, the Maw of Cthune, which I think hey, just Ma. destroy ah. destroy any one creature. I taste your fear. You got to stop saying stuff like that, Cthune. Yeah, you're so edgy. <laughs> Gee. Edgelord Cthune. It's one of the old gods from uh, from Warcraft. Julia, sure. you restarted this drawing like seven I times. I don't And know I'm very what interested I'm to see what direction you settle on. I don't know what I'm doing. I mean it's that just, encouragingly. It's just got to have a body, a eye, a heart, and a maw. Yeah, everything else is up to you. I can say the, the summoning uh, text again. My awakening brings a new age. Pray to your gods that your pleas may go unanswered. I didn't do the voice that time. It'd be funny if that was his voice. <laughs> My awakening brings a new age. Pray to your gods that your pleas may go unanswered. <laughs> Yuck. I like I liked your voice. It just sounded like you were kind of impatiently explaining to a child. <laughs> <sighs> My awakening brings a new age. Pray to your gods that your pleas may go unanswered. Okay. Okay. Do you, got, you get it? Can you do it, please? Okay. All right. So, I oh, think you made okay. it small. So that's the maw. Yeah. It's a little bitty maw. That's a little bitty maw. Or maybe the scale is. Yeah, we know. don't know. We don't know. Could be a big maw. All we know is it's got a maw, an eye, a heart. And a body. Yeah, I don't know about anything else. So I'm assuming that these are the only bits that he has is a body, yeah. eye, heart, maw. Yeah, and I mean, body can sort of, you know. A body can be anything. A body can be anything. I agree. Oh, but yeah. a maw can only be one thing. Yeah. A mouth. Oh, he's a strong. Oh, a my. moth. A strong man body. I love that. All the better to body you with. Yeah. <laughs> he will break your body. I will break your body. Yeah. <laughs> Walks up to you, hands on hips. <laughs> hey, um, I will break your body. Yeah, I will do it. He does that one in the Bane voice. I will break your body. Got high pants? Oh, no, that's <laughs> a split. Got a, you got, oh, yeah, because he's shattered. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that's fun. I guess I can do the voice, the, the sound it makes when... um. Because uh, what happens is if it's in your deck at the very start of the game, you see it shatter into pieces and get shuffled in. And uh, it sounds sort of like. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh, you. Wow. That's okay. pretty good. My brain feels shattered. I'm sorry, oh, Julia. I, I gave you too many. I thought sort of an abundance of quotes would give you more to work with, but no, uh, I mean it's yeah, good. Me and, I just me and Jacob had it easy. <laughs> <laughs> it's just I I enjoy I enjoy the 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 prompt. So I have I have many ideas. I just knew I had to give you an old god. They they re released like new versions of all of the old gods. They're new old gods in the new, oh, uh, new old gods. Madness at the Dark Moon Fair. It does cancel expansion. Each other out. Yeah, now they're just gods, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Good for them. And uh Cthun has the most quotes because he's he's the only one that gets broken into pieces. That's kind of his thing. It's kind of what I do. It's kind of what I do. <laughs> I break into pieces, uh I make your heart sink. I do destroy your body. I do. Yeah, I see your weakness, and um, yeah, you know, like I said, pray to your <laughs> gods. And all new, that. new age, you you get it. Anyways, would you be interested in going on a second date, or? <laughs> <laughs> That's how he gets shattered. Yeah. <laughs> well, I thought things were going so well. My heart sinks. <laughs> Where did I go wrong? I told him about the body and the heart and the eye. I have so much to give. Was it the maw? Was it the maw? Was it the maw? <laughs> the maw's a lot for some people. I'm so interested to see where the eye ends up in this you design. You and me both, Nathan. You and me both. <laughs> 
I I really like this design, Julia. Yeah. If Thank I you. saw this thing like real big, like marching out of the ocean. Yeah. <laughs> and and I oh, can say head fell off. I can say safely, you're so far away from what the actual design is that like you don't need to worry. Just just go with it. Like just just have fun. You're doing <laughs> great. Have fun? I don't how <laughs> what is we're just moving mm-hmm. some pieces around now I'm, just, I'm trying some stuff yeah. out I'm trying yes. it out I wanted to make a cool drawing and I'm panicking a little bit this represents the shuffling of all of the pieces into your yeah. deck <laughs> yeah so you gave me a prompt that I'm excited about which apparently is a problem for my brain I'm sorry how dare you you should have known better than to try and cater to things Julia likes <laughs> Now look at her. <laughs> She's losing it. She's, I'm losing it. Oh, Julia. Much like Cthulhu falling apart. Yeah. <laughs> That's one of its other lines. <laughs> I'm losing it. I'm <laughs> losing it. I'm falling apart. <laughs> I'm panicking. This Lisa. This is my last resort. <laughs> Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> it's got some unrequited stuff. Going on. Did you like Jeez. my the room reference just then? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's one of those movies that's bad, but it's like so bad it's it's fun to watch, to make fun of. The old gods <laughs> love it. It's a movie of pure chaos. <laughs> like me, if I was a movie. Oh, we hitting a pelvic split? Oh yeah. Pelvic split. Okay. It looks like right in front, like in the foreground of this piece, there would be a samurai resheathing his katana. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I want like cool little floaty bits. Mm-hmm. Show some some shattering. I can tell you some more about Cthune if you want to know. <laughs> oh, my. I'm fascinated. Cthune is the old god of madness and chaos. It's one of the old gods, and it is the old god of madness and chaos. The old gods are ancient and powerful creatures who ruled the world of Azeroth long before being defeated and imprisoned by the Titans. Wow. Get him, Titans. Cthune <laughs> created the Kiraji and resides within the city of Ankiraj in Silithus. I remember that place from World of Warcraft. You remember Ankiraj? It was the yeah. last... It was the last raid of WoW Classic, I believe. I do or remember it. Was it the did Nax Ramus come after that one? I don't remember. Maybe. I never did the raids. Okay. Well, it's one of the he's the final boss of Ankiraj, and I think pre Nax Ramus is considered one of the hardest raid bosses in World of Warcraft. Nax Ramus. I mean, I think at this point, we all can agree that it looks like Cthulhu, right? He looks like Cthulhu. It's kind oh, of, I mean, it's kind of a Cthulhu. It's not uh-huh. not as much as you would think. It's I got, would really it's, think. It's, you know, because it is, it's I just, never think. it's just Cthulhu <laughs> with, a sh- it's it's like Cthulhu's nickname. Yeah. <laughs> uh. It's like, can I call you Cthulhu for short? Yeah. It's not really that much shorter. Um... This was one shorter. Honestly, I think Nizoth, the old god of the deep, looks more like Cthulhu. Oh, that sounds pretty good. That Cthulhu. would make sense. Yeah. But Cthulhu, Cthulhu's got, you know, they, they've it's got that sort of otherworldly old god horror aesthetic to him. You know when you like work out for the first time in a long time and then you try to move the next day. Oh, yeah. And it feels exactly like how this looks. Yeah, this is it. This is yeah. the feeling. This is exactly the feeling. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh, God, I pushed it a little too hard. I had too many oh, reps. Losses too. I broke my body. And you just scream and your heart bursts out of your chest. From the pain of your muscles existing. And all your heart smoke leaks out. Yeah, yeah. Is that liquid coming out, Julia? Or or some sort of gas? It's heart smoke. It's heart this smoke. Is like, yeah, I wanted a way to make make them like a, a, a genderless. So I wanted to cover 
sort of this middle section here. Oh, that's very modest. It's a smoke shirt. Yeah. It's called fashion sweaty. Nothing covering up that little nub and that little crotch nub. Little smooth crotch nub. Smooth crotch. Sometimes you got to live with it. You know what I'm going to do? Uh-huh. Start over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty good, but yeah, let's just. Yeah. Let's iterate. There you oh. 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 Oh, he's going surfing. <laughs> Let's go <laughs> surfing now. Everybody's learning how. Come on a safari with me. That's a good point. It does look like a surfboard. <laughs> <laughs> when you're tired from working out, but you still got to go surfing. <laughs> you still got to go catch those waves, baby. Because <laughs> you told the bros you would. Not the bros. <laughs> you don't want to let down the bros. <laughs> looking back what you want well huh? I just pushed it a little too hard I'll be back to you just have to draw you just have to draw all four pieces of me and then I'll be back together I'll do 30 damage don't worry about it yeah chill bro you know I always come through with 30 damage don't worry it's gonna be just like old times um I think this is as close as I'm gonna get it's beautiful. Okay. Yeah. Go. I like this design. This is such a cool design. I have no idea who this character is, so I don't think you're close. No, you're not. I think I'm safe in saying it rules. It's just like <laughs> it's just like a cool yeah. thing. And I'm very excited to see your render. It yeah. just marches around being disturbing. Yeah. Just whispering his I mean, this is again, he went on a bad date and it sort of fucked him up. I worked out because I was upset, and now the bros want to go surfing, and I don't want to say no because I know they're just being nice. And I'm like, in the desert? Ugh. <sighs> oh, God, you know, I'll make it there. Don't worry. I got I so much gotta, going on right now. <laughs> I got across the desert. Um. Yeah, anyway. Wow. Beautiful. My dude. This is very fun. All right, I want to see him. There you go. Oh. Oh. Okay. I see the eye. I see the maw. Oh, I see. I do see the maw. I don't see the heart. Okay. He's very spacey. The heart might be in there. The heart. I, I think the heart's inside. Ugh. The heart is inside us all. And the body <laughs> is the whole thing. Yeah. An eye and a body and a mouth. Yeah. I see. Okay. It truly is. Really makes you think. Well, I didn't quite get it. I thought I think you're close. Yeah, you're close. It's like yeah. you know, sometimes it, it was a fifty-fifty shot whether you draw a tentacle monster or a man. I guess if you had just put the heart inside the body, then maybe you would have <laughs> gotten a lot closer. That's yeah, stupid. The original design cheated. I think I address all the parts better. Yeah, I can't see the heart. Where's the heart? And you should have put the mouth on the crotch, like in the original one here. Yeah. Yeah. The tentacle crotch. Well, I've really, I really gunked up this one. <laughs> Darn no. it! You did a, you did a cool. We're never expecting the drawings to be accurate. We just want them to be cool, and that's yeah. what this prompt was. And I got to do Thank some you. voice lines. I love yeah. your voice lines. Good job, Nathan. Good job, Nathan. Um, and you can support us by going to Patreon. That's where the action is for getting some good rewards uh and <laughs> what a segue it was pretty wow. good i thought it was pretty good and uh i'll show you how it's done by clicking the bell and <laughs> subscribe and leaving a comment of what you want to see us draw next time this is the greatest show this is the greatest <laughs> show i see we're sorry 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 sorry